Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to another video. Today I am drawing some soft boys. Well, one of them isn't even a boy, they're non binary, but you know, uh, I'm drawing some soft people today. <laughs> I am drawing uh, my character Comet again, and I am drawing my friend's character Madeus that they played in the same, same campaign. Um, if you haven't seen me draw or talk about comet before, they're full of other videos on my channel where I draw them um, and where I just rant on about them and the adventures that they went on uh, in the campaign. But yeah, that campaign ended long ago now and as such, for those that don't know, comet died and uh, now we're just left with what we wish could have happened with our dreams, our AUs and whatever is in between. <laughs> and as such, I came with this. As recently I decided to draw Comet in a... redesign Comet's modern like outfit and such. Um, and that resulted in me reviving my small little hyperfixation on Comet and Madeus and their uh, relationship, their little romance that they had after the campaign, yes. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's kind of what's going on here. Uh, but yeah, I ended up drawing Comet in a modern version and I liked it so much that I was like, hell yeah, I want to continue to draw this. Uh, obviously, it's not the outfit they're wearing here and stuff, um, but yeah. Uh, and uh, I ended up asking my friend uh, to please make a modern version of Madeus that I could, you know, use as a reference for when I want to draw them. However, I am impatient as fucking hell, so I basically asked that, like, a few days before uh, this, I waited for like, yeah, three days maybe. Then I started, then I did a first tiny sketch of them, just hugging uh, with my version of uh, Madeus. And now I did this, so, you know, patience, not my stronger suit, you know. At least not when it's something I'm excited about. Uh, <laughs> so, here we are. I ended up, yeah drawing my own little version. So, uh, what is going on in this picture? Well, nothing much. Uh, well, <laughs> they're just kind of cuddling. But uh, my little story that I imagine here at least is that, you know, Madeus is a student at the local university and is, you know, he has, you know, responsibilities, needs to study and stuff like that. Uh, meanwhile, Comet, well, they don't study at the university. They probably met some other ways. Maybe they are around the university sometimes. I don't know. I haven't fully decided. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, they ended up meeting, you know, ending up becoming a couple, as you do. <laughs> Because we love those happy endings. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically what happened here, so to say. But to give, I guess, a bit more story for like Comet side, in because I don't know, it, when I make my DD characters into a modern day, when I make them human and stuff, I like to give them some sort of like. Uh, disorder, disability, whatever word might be good, uh, some sort of like condition or something because it's fun. I mean, there's one character, uh, my other druid that I haven't really played, but uh, that in a modern AU has issues with his leg and he would probably be using, you know, walking support. Uh, if not a wheelchair, I started to imagine recently. 
uh, so you know that's something and something that uh, I am considering I haven't drawn it yet obviously but you know mm. it's it's fun and that goes for most characters it feels like uh, when it comes to me translating them to a modern AU um, and what Comet has gotten in this case is uh, for one some some form of uh, dissociative identity disorder DID for short um, I'm no expert on these so I can't say exactly uh, how they are and stuff uh, but when it comes to Comet, I thought it would be a very nice way to translate the fact that they, in the campaign, had two souls, they had two personalities in them. We had Sun and we had Moon, and so in this modern one, they have three people. They have Comet, the original, we have Sun and Moon. So, yeah. Uh, then, a friend, when I was thinking about, you know, because... Uh, there were certain elements I wanted for Comet in a modern AU and I talked a bit with a friend about it and he came with the suggestion of narcolepsy. I am not an expert there either, but uh, from what I have read and understood there are different types of narcolepsy and stuff and it can, you know, show itself in different ways and, you know, much like many disorders. Uh, but the general gist of it is that a person can suddenly fall asleep uh, at what would be considered inappropriate times during the day. It's basically something in the brain going on that can't regulate sleeping schedules and waking schedules. Uh, like that hormone doesn't really work, it doesn't really generate and stuff. And that can come with a whole lot of other things. Um, and apparently, which, yeah, it's, I mean, not great for, you know, the person. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's something that I decided to uh, give them. Um, I need to read up a bit more on it, though. Uh, same with the ID, really. And I, before I, like, uh, yeah, fully, like, go all in. But that's the general gist of it. Something I do find a little bit ironic, I guess, when it comes to having narcolepsy is that if you're a narcolepsy, uh, like person with narcolepsy, you might also have insomnia, which I I, I, I don't want to laugh about it, but, but it, I find it ironic. I find it kind of funny in that way that you have one disorder that, you know, makes you fall asleep at random times, makes you like, yeah, makes makes you sleep more than you should, maybe. But then we have this other disorder uh, that makes you unable to sleep. Uh, and that's, yeah, I, I don't know, I find it, I, I find it very funny, very ironic. Uh, but, yeah, as I said, there's a lot I need to figure out when it comes to uh, these disorders, I need to do a lot more research because I'm far from an expert. And I probably never will be an expert, but you know, I could do my best to try to represent people. Uh, but yeah, that's also a bit where this picture comes in, like in the storytelling. Where, uh, because I read that uh, with some, some uh, the best way for someone to try to, you know, regulate their narcolepsy is to take regular naps during the day. Uh, because that could help. And so, uh, in this picture that I'm drawing, I'm imagining that either Comet just happened to fall asleep uh, because of the narcolepsy, or they actively try to fall asleep because regular nap times. Uh, and uh, it was about time for one, so they took the opportunity to, you know, cuddle with their partner a little bit, to get some soft sleep, yes, well, when their partner is studying or reading papers or something on the sofa. You know, just having, just having a cozy time. 
which is especially great during these colder months because here where I live the clock the clock what <laughs> the sun goes down at four o'clock and at the latest and uh, who oh boy is it depressing <laughs> no but yeah uh, it's it's winter time it's not fun right now when I'm recording it's sun outside it's bright uh, all the colors are vibrant give it another four hours four and a half hour it's gonna be dark and I'm gonna be able to see the airplane lights from the planes coming into land at the airport because uh, Assuming the wind is right and that's the open uh, runway, but you know, stuff like that. But yeah, anyway, back to the picture at hand. Um, yes, so yeah, this is really just me having an excuse to draw soft cuddles. Not that you need an excuse, but you know, it's fun to have one sometimes. And uh, yeah. I just, I just really love these two because I think they are so soft and so adorable. And it's a bit fun as well because when I was first drawing up uh, Comet, uh, like the, the new design for the modern, uh, because I use 3D models to get heights and stuff right, I used uh, and get proportions right and stuff. I just dragged one out and didn't change anything except like the body shape. I like to get their body type a bit more right. Um, and I didn't realize until later uh, when I was essentially done with the uh, uh, with the design that I had made Comet shorter. <laughs> uh, so they went from being 180 to essentially 160. They lost 20 centimeters. And I was like, and I was sitting in a call with some friends and I was like, oh no, I need to fix this. And I started to prepare to like fix it. Uh, but then the my friend who played Madias was like, no, keep them that tight. Madias can pick, pick them up then. And I was like, that's a valid point. I'm gonna keep them that tight now. So in the modern AU, Comet has lost 20 centimeters of their height. Uh, just for the adorableness and for my just being able to pick them up. Yes. But the height difference between us stayed the same though, because my is 170, so there's always 10 centimeters roughly between them. <laughs> so yeah, now I, now I, maybe my, my next project should, should be my carrying Comet, because that's just adorable. And that's the reasoning my friend gave, so why shouldn't I draw it? Hmm. Yeah, that's that might be my next one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start doodling on it later, if I have the time. I have a lot of things to do today. Yet here I am making a YouTube video. Ooh. <laughs> I know time management. <laughs> well, not really. Anyway. Uh, but yeah uh, so the picture is essentially done here just doing you know last few details setting the mood um, but yeah here is the finished picture I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you had a fun time today listening to me ramble I hope it was more coherent than usual I don't know I don't know even what my standards are. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have a great one and I'll see you another time. Bye!